Johann Sundberg Ingo R. Tietze Award for Creativity in Voice Science is given in honor of Johann Sundberg's and Ingo Tietze's prolific and influential careers. The award is given to an individual or group of individuals who have established a creative body of research or creative entity that reflects the application of voice science, basic clinical or performance, to a voice-related profession or to society at large. The first award was given in 2019 to Johann Sundberg and Ingo Tietze. This year's award in 2020 is given to Dr. Ronald C. Shearer for his numerous contributions to voice science. Special attention is deserved by his creation of laryngeal model M5, one of six physical models he has contributed to voice science. The design of model M5 has been used worldwide by many scientists in their laryngeal modeling, and data from M5 have been shared to either test their models or to incorporate M5 empirical intraglottal pressures. Of special note is the wide range of intraglottal pressures and entrance and transglottal pressure coefficients from model M5 for both systematic and oblique glottal shapes that have helped to clarify the empirical nature of phonation. Separate from this and his many other scientific contributions, Ron has been an extraordinary mentor, reviewer, contributor to all aspects of the field. He is also an enthusiastic and wonderful singer and has applied his creative imagination not only to his own scientific endeavors, but also to instill a passion for creativity among his graduate students and collaborators. It is with the greatest pleasure that we present this year's Sundberg Tietze Award to Dr. Ron Shearer. The Sadaloff Young Investigator Award is presented jointly by Elsevier Publications and the Voice Foundation. It recognizes excellence among young researchers. The first annual Sadaloff Award was presented in 2009. The award is open to investigators who have completed their training, including fellowship, no more than five years ago. Investigators must present new research for publication in the Journal of Voice. This year's award winner is Melissa Tankman. She received the award for her paper, Focus of Attention in Voice Training, a Survey of Singers, and she is the first person from the field of voice pedagogy to receive this award. Congratulations, Melissa, on the Sadaloff Award. In 2012, the Voice Foundation launched a new award that recognizes excellence among researchers coming from outside the United States, the Hamdan International Presentation Award. Dr. Abdul Latif Hamdan has generously given the Voice Foundation an endowment to fund this award for investigators traveling to the United States to present at the Voice Foundation Symposium. The award is open to investigators who are accepted to present at the yearly symposium and who are traveling internationally. This year, 
virtual presentation was considered international travel. I am delighted to announce Dr. Philippa La has been selected for this award for her paper, The Effects of Menopause on Voice Metrics, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. Dr. La, congratulations. The Van Lawrence Fellowship was created by the Voice Foundation and the National Association of Teachers Singing Foundation to honor Van L. Lawrence for his outstanding contribution to voice and particularly to recognize the importance of the interdisciplinary education he fostered among laryngologists and singing teachers. The fellowship winners are members of NATS who are actively engaged in teaching have demonstrated excellence in their profession as singing teachers and have shown interest in and knowledge of voice science. The fellowship and a $2,000 award are intended to provide opportunities for the fellow to become more thoroughly acquainted with practices, techniques, technology, and people involved in laryngology and voice science. It is hoped that the opportunities and contacts provided through the fellowship experience will enhance the teacher's ability to do meaningful interdisciplinary research and will encourage the teacher to apply appropriate voice science advances in the studio. This year's winner already has done that. Driven by curiosity and specializing in the use of voice technology and kinesthesis, she pioneered the use of ultrasound in the voice studio with a focus on the physiology and rehabilitation of tongue shapes and motions required for all phonemes and the ramifications for resonance. The critical success of that work has led to publications in peer-reviewed journals, first place in the 15th annual David Brewer Award for Best Poster at this symposium and other workshops and presentations she is one of the pioneers in applications of voice technology in the studio. It is a pleasure to present this year's Van Lawrence Fellowship to Angelica Nair. Journal of Voice Best Paper Awards are given to one article in each of three categories. The winning papers are available free of charge on jvoice.org until October 1st, 2020. This year's Basic Science Award winner is the paper Exploring the Neural Bases of Primary Muscle Tension Dysphonia a case study using functional magnetic resonance imaging by Nelson Roy, Maria Dietrich, Michael Blomgren, Amanda Heller, Daniel Helps, and James Lee. In the clinical medicine category, the winning paper is Dysphonia, Perceived Control, and a Psychosocial Distress, a qualitative study by Stephanie Misono, Caroline Hout, Liza Meredith, Patricia Frazier, Ali Stockness, Deirdre Michael, Lisa Butcher, and Eileen Harwood. And in the speech language pathology voice pedagogy category, the winner is Objective Indices of Perceived Vocal Strain by Suprajit Nand, Lisa Kopp, Raul Stravastov, and David Eddins. Spasmodic Dysphonia Research Award was started in 2019. The second award will be presented this year. 
The award is for outstanding contributions to new research related to spasmodic dysphonia and related conditions, including muscle tension dysphonia and voice tremor. The award includes a thousand dollars provided by the National Spasmodic Dysphonia Association. The second award winner is a paper entitled Vibrotactile Stimulation as a Feasible Symptomatic Treatment for the Voice Disorder Spasmodic Dysphonia. It was written by Arash Manan, Sanaz Kusravani, Peter Watson, Yang Zhang, George Godding, and Jurgen Koncek. Congratulations. Last award is the Best Student Presentation Award. It includes not only recognition and a certificate, but also a thousand dollars made possible through a generous endowment from our board member, Dr. Abdul Hamdan. I am pleased to announce for the second time that the winner is Arish Manan and colleagues for vibrotactile stimulation as a feasible symptomatic treatment for the voice disorder spasmodic dysphonia. Congratulations again. The Voice Foundation is very grateful to those organizations who helped support us this year, even though they were not able to exhibit live. Of course, the National Association of Teachers of Singing, whose collaboration has always been invaluable. Also, Blue Tree Publishing and High Talk. And a special thanks for very generous support to our friends from Carl Stortz. Mm -hmm.